Okay, so today we're going to be taking a look at the HD PVR rocket from Hapog. For those that don't know about this product, it's a game capture device, much like the Elgato, with one big difference, as you can see on the front of the box here. Um, rather than having to be connected to a PC when you are recording your gameplay, this device actually lets you record it straight onto a USB drive. So here's what the device is like here. Um, very simple to use. So you've got your button here, you press something you want to start recording, and then obviously you have to have a USB drive installed, so just like that. Then once that's in, hit the button and it will start recording whatever you've got connected up to it, whether it be your laptop, PC or your um, gaming console. One thing that I do like about this is, you might have seen here there is an audio in jack. If you like doing live commentaries, a lot of people do like doing that, you can record directly from the microphone um, when you're recording your gameplay. And then you can actually control the volume levels here and here. You can lock it and you can also give yourself a volume boost. And you can also control the level of how much, um, how loud the volume is coming through your microphone. On the back here we have got your USB input. It runs off of USB power. Get onto that in a wee minute. Your AV in, also get to that in a wee minute, and there's a, there's a wee interesting sideline for that. So you've got your HDMI in, so this would be from your console, um, your PlayStation 4, Xbox 360, Xbox One, Wii U, and then obviously your HDMI out, so it can spring back onto the telly, so it's really a pass-through device. Um, what I like about this, pa uh, this pass-through device is that it has no lag, so Unlike some other capture cards where you're putting the signal through one set end and then pointing it out the other end whilst it's recording, you sometimes will get a lag. You do not get it with this device. Now, my choice here for the USB drive, I feel I should mention that because it's something that a lot of people will want to know about. It's actually a SanDisk Cruiser Blade, it's a 32 gigabyte version. Um, this is £8 directly from Amazon. I've left a link in the description below for the best possible price for it. It's a GeoRite link, so no matter where you are in the world, it will take you to your local Amazon store. So if you're in America, it will take you to Amazon.com. If you're in the UK, it will take you to Amazon.co.uk and it will take you to the product listing for this, um, for this USB drive. Just take that out. Now, obviously, in the box, you're getting the PVR rocket, however, you also get you get a quick start guide, which is fairly straightforward, just tells you everything you need to do about it. You get a USB cable, a very very long USB cable actually, so this end um, will plug directly into the PVR rocket. And then depending on what you're doing with it, if you are recording in free PC free mode, um, you plug this end into a power supply um, that's located on your console. Um, now, if you're using the AVN option and you're recording older gameplay um, footage from, say, a Super Nintendo, a Sega Mega Drive, etc., you can get around by plugging this into uh, like a USB wall charger, you know, the kind where you can just take it off. Um, so you can plug it into your computer and then when you get home you can actually add the adapter back onto the cable and you can plug it in through the wall. This works in the UK, it may not work in the USA if you do that option, so just double check first. If you are using the PVR rocket in PC mode, where, uh, whereby you're recording directly to onto your computer's hard drive, you use this end of the USB cable and this will plug into your PC and that will send the power through it and it also transfer the data between the PC and the PVR rocket. Now, what I've used to capture the footage that I'll show at the end of this video, um, I've got a laptop so I just plug the HDMI port, the HDMI cable sorry, into this port and then duplicated the desktops in which case all the data that I'm seeing on my screen gets transmitted over to the PVR rocket. In this case to get the power I did use this end of the connector because I'm only supplying power to the, the rocket, I'm not actually supplying any data to it, I'm just sending the signal over the HDMI. So you get that, 
you also get a rather long HDMI cable with it. It's just over a foot long. This is, if I think, it might actually be two feet. Um, it's also gold plated, which is very good. Stop corrosion over time. And then, if you've got a PlayStation 3, obviously I've not taken this out because I don't have a PlayStation 3 that uses this is your component um, cables for the PlayStation 3 because you don't get um, it's HDCP protected and you don't get a, a signal going over it because that is encrypted obviously that's just the way Sony have designed it then the last piece of cable that you get in the box is this, this is for your AVN, this is also a type of component cable um, obviously I've not taken this out of the bag yet um, so this, this end plugs right in there and then what you can do is using the the blue end of this cable is that you can use this to record your older gameplays from your retro consoles um, so you plug your yellow cable into the blue end of the connector and then obviously your red and white cables we get plugged into their relevant um, red and white RCA cables as well. Um, I'm actually waiting for a splitter to come so that I can record um, older console footage. So I'll be making a video on that when I receive the cable and I'll do a tutorial on how you set everything up. Um, it's just a way so that you can record your gameplay and also watch it back on the TV in real time as well without any lag, which this is great at doing. So what I'll do now is I'll show some gameplay footage that I've recorded from my PC um, showing what it's So as you may have seen in both of those gameplay trailers there, there is actually a bit of underscan going on. Um, I had a look at it and it's not actually an issue with the PVR rocket, it's actually a problem with the AMD uh, Catalyst Control Center. The drivers for the graphics card are thinking that there's some scaling issues going on and it tries to overcompensate this. However, this is not something that is replicated on consoles, it's just on the PC and it's an AMD issue. However, as far as I know, the a AMD are aware of this fault and they're working on a solution to it just now. It's still not much of a problem. It's not as if it's the end of the world and the gameplay footage isn't getting recorded properly. It's just more of a slight annoyance more than anything. And it's perfectly fixable in time. This was when I was recording in standalone mode. If it was the case that you were recording it in the PC connected mode, this issue disappears as well, so it's not a major biggie. And you could, of course, with the software that you're using, crop the black borders out of the picture. Um, if you're using Sony Vegas Pro or Final Cut 10, for example. Um, closing thoughts, it's an excellent piece of equipment. I paid just over £100 for this from Amazon.co.uk. 
and I've actually left a link in the description below for that, it's a GeoWrite link so if you click on that it will take you to the Amazon product page related to your country so as I mentioned before if you're in the UK it will take you to the Amazon.co.uk page if you're in America it will be the Amazon.com page etc um, excellent piece of kit obviously the thing that's got it um, going in its favour as well is great backwards compatibility with older um, consoles, something which the Aver capture cards don't have even though they're portable however it has that portability, something which Elgato doesn't have and a lot of people had, have had overheating problems with the Elgatos so this really is the best possible option you can get if you are recording gameplay footage um, I would highly recommend that I'm, I've only had it a few days and I'm already really really happy about it, with it and it feels substantial as well, it feels very weighty and one of the things I do like as well is that they've actually included um, heat holes in the back as well so the product won't overheat which is something that Elgato really should have done with their products um, yeah so I hope this video has been of help and help you to make a decision on getting a capture card and if you like it please hit that like button and also share it and I'll see you again soon with a tutorial on how to record your retro game console gameplay. Thank you. Bye -bye.